Hi, today I'm going to walk through using DataPump to carry out an export of a database from an Oracle 12C environment. On this server, I have Oracle 12C installed. It contains five small pluggable databases. This is the location I plan to actually do the export to, which is currently empty. I will make a directory first for my pluggable database to go into. I'll connect. I will use animal, as you can see is currently read and write. Before I proceed, I will point this out to you. With data pump, you need to have a directory set up. When we query that on the container database, oh, hold on, let's say that again. Yeah, that's better. You will see that we have one directory set up for data pump and it's going to a UO3 data pump directory, which doesn't actually exist, but it doesn't matter. When you come to do a data pump, you have to set one up for each individual pluggable database. Data pump is not like RMAN, whereas RMAN you back up the container database and it backs up all pluggable databases underneath it. Data pump you have to do for each individual database in turn. So what we'll do now is we'll connect the animal database. And if we run the same query again from animal, you will see again that we have that data pump directory brought over. We will now create our own directory. Following a very similar naming, but putting the name of the database beforehand. And we also need to grant permissions for the system user to do that. So if we check again, we'll have, have two entries in here. So on the operating system, we will run the export command. Username system. Exporting to, and we want a full export. This will take a few minutes to run through. The export has now finished, and we have one dump file and export log. So, to sum this up. To do an export from a pluggable database, you have to set up a directory path for each pluggable database. You cannot use the default one that comes from the container database. You cannot alter the default data pump DIR that comes from the container database inside your pluggable database. If you try to do this, it will actually fail with an error. I hope you have found this demonstration helpful. Thank you for taking the time to watch.